Yeah, 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 yeah. Dope. Andy Emilio for ES News. We're here with uh, still the bearded vegan. Still vegan? Uh, so, yeah, yeah, all right. Yeah, yeah. Bearded hey, vegan. Just to tell a hoe. I can't even hold your pieces. For life, for life. All right. So, heavyweight, you were in there. I got to ask for your immediate reaction. I mean, you weren't in there. You were in the crowd, right? Uh, immediate reaction to Crawford Khan. Did, did, uh, does Amir Khan get the benefit of the doubt? I was just having this conversation. No, he doesn't. He quit in your eyes. So wow, like just like that, I mean, you're a fighter, you would understand better than anyone else. Um, has there ever been a shot that you felt like that, that, I mean, could it be a Charlie horse and, you know, you're getting hit in the leg area? You get five minutes and mm. they tell you, if you don't recover in five minutes, it's a TKO. Mm. Nobody plans to get TKO. Wow. And if most of the time when you get TKO, there's nothing you can do about it. Mm. And that's the point. But if nothing is broken, you get five minutes. He didn't take the five minutes. In the I would have at least gave him five minutes to, and try to, to, wow. try to go for it. Uh, Amir vehemently denies that he's a quitter. He was saying at the post fight yeah, yeah. that he sorry. would rather quit. Yeah, sorry, it's, all, it's all good. It's all good, coach. It's all good. It's all good, coach. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, absolutely, man. We love that. That's, that's real life right there. Yeah. Showing that love. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes, don't, don't cut nothing. Nothing. Keep nothing right there. Going. That's love. You got to show that love. Um, Amir was vehemently denying that he's a, he's a quitter. He said he would have rather get knocked out that Virgil stopped it. Does he get any? So BY just has him as a quitter in his head now. Oh, no, I didn't say all that. Oh, okay, okay. I'm just saying he quit. Okay. I mean, just because you quit don't mean I'm, I'm labeling him as a quitter. That means Khan is my man. You know? Okay, so, okay, one of the most in history, notorious. I mean, I don't, I don't really know too much about history and history, stuff like that. I, but the only thing I know is that uh, the worst thing is maybe Oliver McCall crying and leaving him. I was going to say know. Roberto Duran with the no mas. Yeah, that, either that or... He came back from that. He's still a legend. Can you come back and you're... And, and, can Amir come back and earn the, the fans' respect even after I mean, quitting? I mean, what, 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 my respect? I mean, because I can't speak from all fans' respect. Okay. How about, how about yours? I mean, he do his thing. I mean, he can come back and do his thing. Is that, you know, but he just had to settle for the, for the fact that, you know, he didn't give the whole five minutes. That's all I'm saying. I ain't really saying he quit. I'm just saying he didn't get the whole five minutes. So if you didn't get the whole five minutes, you said, no, I don't even, I don't even wait. There was one welterweight in the building. Well, former welterweight, but a guy who says he's willing to go back down to welterweight. That's Kel Brook. If Terrence Crawford fights Kel Brook, he'll have an opponent in common with Errol Spence. It builds a narrative. Do you think that's a good fight? Uh, Kel Brook has, has been campaigning for it all week. I, is that an interesting fight to you at all? Or how does BY see that? No, it's, it's, I mean, we're not going to say it's not interesting, but, you know, uh, you know, it's the build-up. I would hate, I would, I would hate to feel how Kel Brook feel about, you know, to have to share their opponents and based off of mm, you know, okay. seeing how each one does with him, which both both opponents, which would be Spence and Crawford, would both be, you know, looking to Crawford. Spence already beating them and Crawford to beat them. Now they're looking at the differential of how he got beat by both fighters. I wouldn't, I wouldn't feel comfortable with that. So let me give you this, and I'm not going to ask you to pick because I know this is your guy, and I just want you to break it down to me from a fight standpoint if you think it's a good fight. Philly guy just won tonight. Danny Garcia, he did something no one's ever done. He stopped Adrian Granados. Adrian Granados stopped Amir Amon. Uh, some people thought he'd beat Adrian Broner. Uh, he went the distance with Sean Porter. Danny Garcia and Bud Crawford have had bad blood for a good time now. Is that the next fight? Should Terrence Crawford take that fight? What do you think about that matchup? Should he take it? Yeah, he should take it. Yeah, he should take it. You know, uh, is it a good fight? Hell yeah, it's a good fight. Mm. Same thing they thought that he wasn't going to, um, you know, he wasn't going to show up against Khan. Mm. You know, when he knocked Khan out. But, uh, you know, Danny's a different type of fighter. Styles make fights. They fought in the amateurs. They have, they both have a win against each other. Does that mean anything to you? Uh, no. Okay. Um, I don't speak amateur language. Okay. You know, but, uh, well, no, for the most part, it's like, no, like, 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 people always think Danny's sweet. They don't think he's sweet. Of course, we know Bud ain't sweet, but, you know, it's just not something to write off or whatever. It's, it's definitely, it's definitely a fight to be made. So, so let's get talking 
about your division, which is super spicy right now. Um, I, I can't be the one to jump to any conclusions, but Big Baby AJ was just called off. There's obviously an open space for an opponent. Does, does Brian Jennings want that fight with Anthony Joshua? Is that something you would take on six or seven weeks' notice? Damn, six or seven weeks' notice, that's, that's, that's a bad thing? Shit, where I'm from, you can get in shape in three and a half. Well, you can get in shape in four weeks. Well, you know how Floyd but says, if you stay ready, you never have to get ready. I know you're always ready, right? On the caliber of the fight, you know, uh, four weeks is enough. But, you know, seven weeks, like, that's a whole camp. So, is Brian Jennings saying that he'd, he'd yes. take that spot? You fight Anthony, so you're in there. You're putting your your hand in the race because a lot of guys are dropping out. They're why the saying, fuck I, "Why the fuck wanna?" Like, okay, absolutely. Like, you know, like, all right. What would I say? Oh no, um, I don't want that. Like, to me, first of all, respectively, he's a fucking cash cow. Yeah. So who wouldn't? Mm. So if you're not prepared to even throw yourself in there, you should be shooting yourself in the fucking foot. Okay, so no, we've already got it on camera now. But have you have have you called up Bob? Have you said, Bob, get me that fight? Like, throw my name in the race? Yeah, we already did. We already did. We already did. All right, cool. Yeah, so, yeah, we already did. you're one of the names that Eddie Hearn is possibly looking at right now I'm as a possible opponent? This shit, boy, y'all, woo! Yeah. You know, I've been interrogated before. Okay. Y'all try to make it. No. <laughs> no, no, we, we are, no. We oh, I only want the truth. That's yeah, it. I know. Yeah, you, you, you get that, but yeah. I, I, know, I know how to go around all of that questioning and all that. Yeah. But no, 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 listen, we made, we made the call. That was it. Absolutely. That was it. We made the call. You know, we see. You know, we put the offer. We put the offer out there. Yo, know, we'll, we'll be able to step in. That was it. You know, I ain't on no. I ain't on no Eddie Hearn list. Mm -hmm. None of that extra crazy shit. I don't know nothing about none of that. But. Now, I, I think fans need a reminder. Uh, B. Y. Jennings. I mean, you went the full distance with Klitschko. You know, yeah, that's in the past. You know, I, you, uh, I, I went, I went through hell in the, in the streets too. Before all that, so it, it is what it is. We all, we only go from, from today on. Exactly. You know? When you fought Ortiz, Ortiz, uh, you know, he got caught. After that, you know, so that's you know a highly disputed stoppage, etc. Um, you're right there, right there in the mix. Andy Ruiz just won tonight. Is there an opponent that you want out there? Is there a heavyweight name, or do you just want the champs? Just a second. Uh, no, I mean, it's a business. Mm. Shit ain't entertaining to me no more. It mm. never was. Well, it was at one point, but it's not. It's not. It's not entertaining. D do you have a goal? I mean, is there something yeah, that yeah, you still yeah, want? You have a goal. Secure the fucking bag. That's the goal. Okay, okay. And also, make sure that you don't embarrass yourself. Make sure you, you don't hurt yourself. And make sure you go out there and give the best at all time. But all that illusion shit, you know, jumping into the illusion and, and being, you know, oh, Stars stuck and all that. I ain't never been there. What are your thoughts about the big baby confession via Instagram? I don't know if you I saw mean, it. I mean, I seen that, but that's 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 him. You know, it's something he got to deal with. Mm. You know, so um, that's that's just something that he's already. You know, he, that's his process. I mean, I don't even want to speak on it. I mean, because he said it, and it's very unfortunate. Okay. It's sad. It's bad. He missed out on the bag. And it's unfortunate. Do you think a fighter's team, you know, fighters nowadays, they have a boxing trainer, strength and conditioning coach, sports nutritionist. Is, is, is the fighter, does the fighter always know what's being put in his body? Or can a fighter truthfully, unknowingly, maybe take something that he wasn't aware of? I mean, I mean, that's possible. But then you got a big lawsuit against your nutritionist. Mm. Yeah, but then he got a big lawsuit on his, uh, against his nutritionist. So, um, I mean, but for the most part, I would believe that you would want to know everything that's, that you're putting into your body. But, you know, um, in his case, I don't know how it happened. Last question uh, right here. You already say Anthony Joshua with the catch cow, but I got to ask you about this guy. B.Y. gets it tomorrow. He has a choice. Deontay Wilder, Anthony Joshua. Who does he fight? I mean, if I have a choice? Yeah, you get to pick whoever you want from those two champs. You know, you know, with the choice, the choice, the choice you're going, you going to go with the better book. Who's that? That's Anthony Joshua. All right, well, we have it. Thank you, I mean, B.Y. I appreciate I mean, your that's, time. That's simple. And uh, let everybody know where they can follow us. You already know. You can follow me at B.Y. Jennings on Instagram. And Twitter. <laughs> yeah, though. <laughs> yeah, though. All right, man. Yo, appreciate your time, brother. Thank you. All right.